Welcome to our show, The China Briefing. Today, we've got a lot to cover. First up, China's recent crackdown on money laundering using virtual assets has put cryptocurrency investors on high alert. This new judicial interpretation means that anyone caught using virtual assets for illegal activities could face serious legal consequences. Next, tensions between China and the Philippines have flared up once more in the South China Sea. The latest incident involved accusations and collisions near the disputed Sabina Shoal, highlighting the ongoing diplomatic challenges in the region. Finally, President Joe Biden has approved a new nuclear strategy focusing on potential threats from China, Russia, and North Korea. This strategy aims to address the rapid buildup of China's nuclear arsenal and prepare for any future confrontations. Please stay tuned for more details on these stories. South China Morning Post China's highest court has intensified its crackdown on money laundering involving virtual assets, creating heightened legal risks for cryptocurrency traders on the mainland. A judicial interpretation published by the Supreme People's Court and the Supreme People's Procuratorate now explicitly includes the use of virtual assets like cryptocurrencies and game tokens as methods of money laundering, which violates China's criminal law. This move, according to Xiao Shuei, a lawyer at Shanghai-based Mankuan law firm, will make it more challenging for USDT merchants and ordinary people to trade cryptocurrencies without facing potential legal consequences. The interpretation comes amid constant innovation in money laundering techniques, making it harder for authorities to combat these crimes in the digital age. Despite the stringent measures, cryptocurrency trading itself is not equated with money laundering, and the broader policies on cryptocurrencies in China remain unchanged. Meanwhile, Hong Kong has been given the green light to regulate and support virtual asset businesses, maintaining its status as a significant player in the international crypto market. Foreign policy. Early Monday saw another confrontation between China and the Philippines in the South China Sea, specifically around the disputed Sabina Shoal, a 14-mile stretch of uninhabited reefs. The shoal falls within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, but China claims it as part of the Spratly Islands. This latest clash involved the Philippine Coast Guard and the Chinese Coast Guard, with both sides accusing each other of illegal maneuvers and collisions. This incident follows a series of escalatory actions, including previous ramming incidents and aerial confrontations. Experts believe that while limited agreements might be forged between the two nations, the broader conflict is entrenched, especially as long as China continues to pursue its expansive territorial claims. The United States, bound by a treaty to defend the Philippines, has reaffirmed its commitment, although Manila has so far refrained from seeking more explicit support to avoid escalating tensions further. Beijing is likely to continue testing Manila's resolve, aiming to assert its dominance in the region and keep the US at bay. Foreign policy. The Democratic National Convention, DNC, has revealed little about Vice President Kamala Harris's foreign policy vision, reflecting how little top Democratic strategists believe foreign policy will influence voters' decisions in the upcoming election. The party's main website still features outdated references to the war in Afghanistan and amidst significant current events like Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. The 2024 policy platform document, finalized before President Biden announced his decision to step aside, focuses on Biden's achievements and promises continuity. Despite its outdated references, the document outlines a strategy to counter China and support Ukraine against Russia. Harris's campaign has yet to provide detailed foreign policy plans, which some see as a missed opportunity. However, insiders suggest that the lack of explicit foreign policy language might not affect the election outcome, as Harris's entrance into the race has energized the Democratic base. The platform's focus on broader issues like climate change, immigration, and economics will still carry significant foreign policy implications. South China Morning Post. The streets of China have transformed dramatically, with sleek electric vehicles, EVs, from Chinese brands now dominating the roads. This shift is evident in the declining presence of Japanese cars, which once held a significant market share. This change has led Nippon Steel to end its 20-year joint venture with Bao Steel, marking the end of a nearly 50-year relationship. 
This separation reflects China's rise in manufacturing since the collaboration began during Deng Xiaoping's tenure, when China relied heavily on foreign technology. Deng's historic visit to Japan in 1978 to study Japanese technology, particularly in steel manufacturing, set the stage for China's economic transformation. The creation of Bao Steel was a direct result of this visit, and today, China Baowu Group is the world's largest steelmaker. The breakup of the Nippon Steel venture symbolizes a shift from a student-teacher relationship to one of equals or competitors, as Chinese carmakers have become formidable players in the market, particularly in the EV sector. This shift also reflects broader geopolitical and trade tensions, as China now seeks opportunities abroad, aligning with initiatives like the Belt and Road. Guardian. Joe Biden has approved a new U.S. nuclear strategy to prepare for potential nuclear confrontations with Russia, China, and North Korea. This strategy, known as the Nuclear Employment Guidance, was approved in March but has not yet been presented to Congress. The revised strategy comes in response to the rapid buildup of China's nuclear arsenal, which is expected to rival the U.S. and Russian stockpiles within the next decade. The strategy also addresses threats from Russia, particularly following Vladimir Putin's nuclear threats in Ukraine. The US has signaled a willingness to expand its nuclear arsenal to counter these threats, moving from modernization to expansion if necessary. The last major nuclear arms control agreement with Russia, New START, is set to expire in 2026 with no new agreement in place. China and Russia's increasing political and economic alignment, including joint military exercises, underscores the need for this strategic shift. The strategy emphasizes the need to deter multiple nuclear-armed adversaries simultaneously, reflecting the complex and evolving global nuclear landscape. South China Morning Post Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina fled the country amid growing anti-government protests related to public sector job quotas for families of war veterans. This unrest is part of a broader trend of instability in South Asia and the Global South, reminiscent of recent events in Sri Lanka and Pakistan. Economic distress is a common theme, with Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan all in the midst of IMF bailouts. The West often attributes this distress to China's lending practices, but economic mismanagement by host governments also plays a significant role. South Asian economies are vulnerable to external shocks and rely heavily on remittances and externally oriented industries like tourism and textiles. The rise of social media has also made it easier to mobilize populations and challenge government narratives. In Bangladesh, a large young population faces limited economic opportunities, leading to high youth unemployment and social unrest. This situation reflects broader challenges in South Asia, where a demographic dividend risks becoming a demographic burden without sufficient job creation. Despite the narrative of the rise of the rest, structural challenges remain, as evidenced by the recent unrest in Bangladesh. South China Morning Post When Kamala Harris began dating Doug Emhoff in 2013, she was stepping into the role of a future stepmother to his children, Cole and Ella Emhoff. Nervous yet excited, she brought cookies to their first meeting, which turned out to be a heartwarming success as the children warmly welcomed her. Cole, who was named after jazz legend John Coltrane, grew up in a lively household where political discussions were a staple, especially as his father worked as a lawyer and his mother, Kirsten Emhoff, was a film producer. Cole followed in his mother's footsteps into the entertainment industry, working at prestigious firms like William Morris Endeavor and Brad Pitt's Plan B Entertainment. He married Greenlay Littlejohn in 2023, with Harris officiating the ceremony, highlighting the close knit bond they share. CBC. Russell Bicknell, a paleobiologist at the American Museum of Natural History, ranks giant sea scorpions as an eight on the terrifying scale. These formidable creatures, which lived over 400 million years ago, could grow larger than humans and were apex predators with powerful claws and thick exoskeletons. Recent research has revealed that these sea scorpions were also capable of long distance oceanic migrations. Fossils found in Australia, identified as Pterygotus and Jacolopterus, suggest they traveled vast distances, similar to modern whales. Despite their dominance, the reason for their extinction remains a mystery, though hypotheses include environmental changes, ecological competition, 
or evolutionary limits. This discovery not only expands our understanding of their range but also provides a foundation for future research into their sudden disappearance. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email. News breaks, buzz the ground, stories spit, walls come down, voices merge in the sound, faces mix in the crowd. Broadcasters paint the scene, world events on our screen, every link a different theme, words collide in the stream. Six degrees connect the dots, background stories. Day by day, hidden truths come to play In the background, shades of grey Every story finds its way